Run, river, run, run through the hills. Run, river, run to the sea. Run, river, run to your place beneath the sun. Run, river, run over me. Hi, this is Jan Lewis. Welcome to Be My Guest. Today we have back Charlie Smith. And Charlie had wrote a lot of books, but now he's actually a consultant to those who want to learn how to publish your book. Welcome back, Charlie. Thank you, Jan. It's good to be here. You know, I was telling Charlie that today is St. Patrick's Day, March 17th. Mm. And like a lot of people, I just lay out my clothes the night before so I don't have to worry about it the next morning. Didn't think about St. Patrick's Day, didn't think about the green, and then it hit me like, oh my God, but that's great. Happy St. Pat's of people that uh, would like to have it. Um, Happy St. Pa Patrick's Day. I don't even know. Day, yeah. I think we, maybe we have one relative in my family who's, yeah, it's more predominantly in the Celtic world, Scottish. So, anyway, Charlie, this is a whole new animal for me. When did you decide to, to ask, tell people how to publish a book? Well, I've had a lot of people asking me, because I wrote seven books. Yeah. A lot of people asking me like, how do you how do you go about doing it? Where um, where do you get the information to mm. write a book? And because a lot of people think that you can only publish through publishing companies. No, you self-publish. Yeah, which costs a significant amount of money to you publish. Think, did you think it costs more than regular publishing companies? No, I mean to publish in a publishing company. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's it's the significant one. Yeah. to publish. Self-publishing, it's free. This was Pretty what much. people are telling me. Yeah. Where do they go? What's the site now that they go to? There's a new one, isn't there? Well, there's a few, but um, I go to um, Kindle. Yeah. Dot com. It's a part of Amazon. Yeah. And you can upload your book there. It gives you all the information you want. And they'll free deliver it. Yeah. They. They. Well, they. People can order them on Amazon, yeah, and then yeah, they make them as people order them, mm -hmm. and then they ship them out. Well, things have changed, so somebody's got to get paid somewhere. Amazon. Amazon takes a little bit of a chunk. Okay. But that's it. You still got a royalty. <laughs> How much is a little? <laughs> what about two percent? Hopefully. Well, like when I, I have a book. Uh, my addiction book, I think, is fifteen dollars now. Yep. It's hard to keep track with. I have seven a whole library books of your now. books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I owe you a couple. <laughs> <laughs> you, he wrote the most fantastic books on addiction recovery. How's that going? Are you still getting out there with that? I'm actually working at Aware Recovery Care now, and that's going to people's homes. I'll give them a shout out. Sure. It's Go go, it's going to people's homes and helping them in their recovery and it's staying with the client for over a year yeah. right? eight year yeah 52 weeks and it's one of the best companies i've ever worked with yeah you yeah. like that one yeah whereas going into something that's an in facility in per patient this gives those who might feel more comfortable in their home was it johnny depp had someone following him around too i think he had a um a companion or so, somebody in addiction. I think they had it go to his home. I'm oh, really? I think I read that. Yeah, I like Johnny Depp. So maybe, I, maybe it was still aware. <laughs> I don't know what it was. So, Charlie, tell us, how does someone go about publishing their book? Help people out. Well, first, you know, you need the idea what you're going to write. And what I tell people is start at the beginning. You know, get all the information that you want to start out with. Mm -hmm. Write, write it down on a piece of paper. It doesn't have to be in order or anything like that. I've, I've written books and I've been all over the place while I'm writing. Yeah. But, um, you know, form some kind of order for the book as time you're going. Timetable type of thing? A timetable, yeah. 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 If it's going to be like a memoir, yes. start at the beginning. That's what you, I, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I ghostwrite those for people, yeah. Oh, okay. Start, yep, start yep. with the timetable. Yeah. Exactly. Do you tell people, suggest that they do it constantly on their computer, or things come to their head and they just write it down any time of the day? What do you think? Oh, you can do both. Yeah. I've, I've written over, well over a hundred different um, poems that I want to put into a book one you, day. You write poetry. I did a long time ago. I haven't written a, po a poem in a while. 
Oh, but really? I used to write song lyrics and poems. Yeah. And I did that on a on an old um, typewriter. You mean the old hunt and the old typewriter? Not the electronic. <laughs> one? You no, 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 no. I learned on the um, what's it called, Smith Corona? Yeah, yeah. It was electronic. That's what I learned on. How, okay. okay. How fast do you type? How many words a minute? <sighs> I, don't, I don't even know. And I, I don't I don't have like the um, you know like the. I go like this. I don't. I don't. Okay. I don't have the. You didn't take the lessons. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Okay, I did. I'm self-taught. So <laughs> hundred words a minute. It stuck with me. Shorthand didn't so much, but that typing I had to take, that really did. Now they start with your timetable. Yeah. Yep. yep. Once you get the book um, completed the way you want it, then you go on to Kindle, which you can find in Amazon. And um, what you do is you upload the uh, the book itself. What for people who don't know what that means? How what do you mean upload it? I know it it's, it it goes in step by step. But that's a good question. It goes in step by step. When you see the, I wish I had pictures. That's but, okay. Um, I'll, I'll think. I'll think of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but when you when you go into Kindle, why Kindle though? Well. There's a bunch of different ones, but Kindle is, to me, one of the easiest to work with, and they give you the most um, the most bang for your buck. Yeah. Even though you're not paying anything, but like they have access to ACX, which is audiobooks. Okay. And you can get that done for free. Yeah. Well, not for free, but you split the royalties with somebody. That does the narrating yeah. for you, but um, so now you've uploaded to Kindle. You've uploaded to Kindle. Yeah, and it tells you, you know, you want to upload the book, and then you want to upload your book cover. Mm -hmm. And you can go on Fiverr and have a book cover created, or Fiverr. What's it called? Fiverr. Fiverr, where you can do the five bucks. That's pretty neat. You do your own. Well, <clears throat> um, you have somebody do it. Or if you're lucky enough, you can uh, um, have a friend like I do, Lisa Shea. I'll give her a shout out too. Mm. Lisa Shea, she does all my covers. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 She does an amazing job. Yeah. 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 So, okay. So somebody's got them that point. Yep. Yeah. And then you can set up your price, how much you want mm -hmm. to sell it for. You can set up the royalties. You know how much you're gonna get. Mm-hmm. But um, there's a ceiling for that. You mm. can only Amazon gets some, and you get some. Okay. So it, it varies. So while you're on Kindle, do you push a button that says how many copies you want? Well, you, you can get author copies, which is um, a cheaper copy for yourself. Sure. And that's what I use in book signings and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's. That's a good point too. It's always best when you're done before you put them out there mm -hmm. to get one author author copy and then go through it and edit it and yeah. then make any changes. Yeah. And the good thing about self publishing mm -hmm. is you can go back and you can make changes. Oh yeah. Like in my addiction recovery book, if I see something that I want to put into it, mm -hmm. even though I already wrote the book, I can go in change it and then put it back up and just yeah. put like you know addition whatever how long does it take for this to work out for the person who's working and trying to get this book launched how long from does it take? beginning to end yeah how do you think if you're lisa shay a <laughs> month <laughs> if, if, you're if, you, if, you, if you're me if you're me a, a year <laughs> yeah yeah she pushes out some amazing yeah. books yeah. quickly so maybe about um, well, once you get once you upload from that point, when do you finally get your copies? Do you think? If you belong to Amazon Prime, mm -hmm. then you um, can get it in like two days. Yeah. Yeah, they make them fairly quick. Yeah. Now, Charlie wrote a lot of books on recovery from addiction. Excellent books. I think one is all, especially one is almost like it's like a uh, a journal you can that helps you with it writing in it. 
Well, you know, all my books, yeah. except for my memoir, I have the self help and you can write in them. And, you know, like, I had different questions on, um, in my addiction recovery book, I have the eight dimensions of wellness. Yeah. Then I have, like, what you would want your emotional wellness to look like. Yeah. You know, you can write that down. Sure. Yeah. Now, people come up to you and they want to know how to publish their book. So that when did that germinate in your mind that you'd wanted to start this? Um, the consulting. <laughs> consulting. Uh, probably a while back, about a year or so. About a year ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Because another part of it is, well, of course, network. I'm, you know, it's great to have things on Amazon, all this stuff. I am the direct opposite. I mean, it's great. But I like, mm. of course, I help people. I'm their publicist, and I get yes, them in yes. person. That is a real zinger. And especially now that um, more and more of the senior centers, too, besides the book cafes and all, they're mm. looking. They can't wait to have people come in. There are some seniors that have said, well, how do I do this? How? I'm thinking, ah. Mm. I said, you can go there, because they want to know. They've got things to publish, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jeff, where have you been appearing yet? Anywhere? Um, not really anywhere because of COVID. I haven't really gone out anywhere and done this. That's getting a lot better, you know. Yeah, Broadway out there, yeah. Sailing right through it, yep. Yep, yep. Yeah, when was the last time you got out, though? <sighs> Probably 2019. Wow. I actually got out and did, you know, <sighs> yeah, yeah. We were shut down from March 2020 when we Americans found out about, and then we opened up again January 2021 mm. but as you can see we changed the studio so the seating was further away yeah we, yeah we only have one one show a day we used to have two to three a day we're being cautious we may come back to two but right now you know because we then when the studio closes you have the air filled it's healthy yeah we yeah. took it seriously very seriously um but now the things are really really opening up how about now you're a vet yes so, how about yeah. the guys who are vets coming to you to ask if they can, how do they publish their story? I actually just, um, before COVID began, mm -hmm. I started talking to veterans and Veterans Inc. Mm -hmm. about their PTSD and, you know, if any of them had questions about writing a book, I, I would definitely answer those. Yeah. But. Yeah, that's really good. Are you, work, besides being a busy author and consulting, Mm. Are you doing anything else? Do you have to balance that with a work week or? What? Yeah, with a wear, the cover care. Yeah. What do you yeah, do? What yeah. do you, are you do? I, you had a truck, right? You were you're driving a big. Yes. Pickup. What are yeah. you doing? Construction work. <coughs> no, it's uh, a wear recovery care. Mm -hmm. um, helping people in recovery. That's but I, I, I got that because I'm kind of a survivalist too. Yeah. You know, and I, I want to be able to go off road if I need to. That's an excellently big you truck. Know, I looked out the yeah. window and I said, that's, right. <laughs> that's, what, that's, a, that's a bigger than average, isn't it, pickup? It's a GMC Sierra. It's a pickup. It's got a bed, the bed that's a little longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Tell us more about this AWARE. This interests me. It's about um, <coughs> helping people at home mm -hmm. in their recoveries. Um, I, I'm not going to mention names or anything, no. but people um, want to recover from addiction yep. and they can go to a detox or a CSS. The problem with that that I see is that you go into a detox for so long, you go into a CSS or an ATS for so long, and then you get out and you really don't have a grasp on your recovery. Yeah. yeah. Called a spin dry. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. With a d with aware recovery care, you're not going anywhere. You're still living your life. Yeah. But we come into your life. We go in, um, like I go and see a client for an hour or so. Yeah. And talk to them about their recovery, coping skills. You know, any yeah. anything that is coming up at the time. And you stay with them for about a year. You volunteer or are you paid to do it? No, I'm paid to do it. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I'm paid a salary to do it, so. Where is it based? Where is it? I haven't heard of it. Uh, where is in like 10 different states. Jeez. Yeah, from Massachusetts. We're based out of Concord. Mm -hmm. 
but we in like Worcester or wherever you work from home mm -hmm. and you do your paperwork at home yeah um, sometimes <laughs> you'll see a, a, a client virtually yeah or you'll go on a phone or you'll drive out sure. to see the client did they find you or did you find them I went on Indeed let, um, in December because I had lost my other job yeah. due to COVID. Yeah. And um, I seen the, the ad for it and yeah. I'm like, huh, oh, I've, I've heard of ARC, yeah. Aware Recovery Care. Right. But I never actually got into it and, you know, but once I got into it. You liked it. Yeah. You're a yeah. natural. Do you actually get to accompany um, one of the clients to, a, I'll say, an AA meeting? Yes. That's yep, awesome. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah, you can go to an AA meeting with them. You can go. AA, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can go over the house and, you know, just have lunch or sure. whatever you want to do with them. Now, if they have a spouse, do you do you try to gently direct the spouse to Al-Anon? We, we have our own family. Um, Support groups? Family support group yep. within Aware Recovery Care. Yeah. And the, the thing I love about that, too, is that you um, really, the family really gets a feel for recovery. Yeah. yeah. Like, a lot of families don't know what the person in recovery is going through. Yeah. And then there's the elephant in the living room, and they are all they're in denial. Like, well, no, he or she, she's going to be fine. She's not that bad. And they know doggone well that it is bad, I think. Oh, yeah. They know. We've been talking yeah. with Charlie Smith. <clears throat> Charlie is a wonder guy here. He has written <laughs> many, many books. We've had him on before on recovery, which are terrific. And he is also now a consultant. He'll help you how to publish your book. There's a difference between publicity and publish. And he can help you push that lever on your computer and how to get this thing rocking and rolling. Charlie, how can they reach you? You can reach me on lifelongexperience.net. Um, that's my website. It's got all my books, contact information, my life story, mm -hmm. everything. If they want yeah. now, now that you're going into consulting, which is awesome about publishing, um, I'm trying to think, is there a special site that you have for that yet set up? Not yet. Not, you will. I, <laughs> I know you will. I, I will, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where would you Eventually. be willing, how far would you be willing to travel if people say, we want him to come and speak to us? Um, probably Worcester County. Worcester County. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So it's, now, yeah. It's, yeah, stay in Worcester County. Yeah, yeah. Because there's so many venues all over the lot. Oh, and yeah, then, definitely. Oh, you know that. And you and so, um, this is terrific. He's perfect for this. How to publish your book. And having been there and done that, how many books did you write? I wrote seven, working on eight. Working on eight and nine, actually. <laughs> okay. okay, what's the eighth one now? The eighth one is, um, I had a dream of opening a center yeah. where I would teach people inner strength, situational awareness, and self-protection. And I wasn't able to do it because of COVID, but mm -hmm. I, I want to get the information out there, so I'm putting it into a book. Awesome. Yeah. Charlie is a vet. Now, you were were you in Nam or Desert Storm? I was in during uh, Desert Storm. Yeah. I was in 93 to 96. I never actually went over to um, Afghanistan or yeah. Iraq, though. I did spend time in Cuba. You were in Cuba. Yeah, That's Guantanamo right. Bay. We had Cubans and Haitians in the camps yeah. over there. They were trying to get over to the U.S. on nothing bigger than that table in front of you. So in an ocean. Yeah. And I, I knew one kid that unfortunately lost his entire family coming over. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard about them. They all pile into this a rubber boat or something like this and, yeah, and they yeah. don't even make it. Yep, yep. Were you in the Marines, Charlie? I was in the Army Infantry. You were in the Army. Yeah. Three years. So you went beyond basic training. You stuck with it. Yeah, yep, yep. And I stuck with it for it. three years active, five years inactive ready reserve. Yeah. Where if they called you, you you went. Well, you know about our new medic, uh, new vet center over at UMass. Oh, oh my yeah. God, that is fantastic. I've gone, I've gone there a couple times. Yeah, that's a great it's, place. It's really amazing compared to what they had. Yeah, the yeah, other one was on uh, Lincoln Street. Yes. Okay, what do you think the difference is now between the two? 
Night, <laughs> night, night and day. Night and day. <laughs> easier to maybe maneuver through, or it's bigger. It's easier to maneuver through. Um, sitting with sitting with your doctor, you have more room. You know, you don't feel confined. You yeah. don't. You know, you. It's just a more relaxed atmosphere. It's it's a beautiful place. It really yeah, is. I mean, you know, people. Uh, if you go up to UMass and you're going, you know, you know, you're going to head for the parking garage. Right beside it is this beautiful big new vets building. Is the parking in that vets building, or is it in the garage that we usually go to? You can park in the garage, but there's also parking outside of the VA. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you get that too. Yeah. You're gonna yeah, get the best yeah. medical care. I mean, gosh, I mean, other than going into Boston, UMass is it. Yeah, yeah. They got yeah, it all. Yeah. Research everything. Um, I would imagine with vets that you know, they would probably absolutely love two things that you do. The recovery help that you're doing with AWARE. Yeah. Also about your saying, how would you like to write a, a book? Maybe about your mm. feelings, maybe they're tra very traumatized. That's the type of thing too we need. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, a lot. I think Get there's the stories a lot of that. out there. Is it, do you meet a lot of vets who have gone through that? I do. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, it's therapeutic for veterans, too. Yeah. Or for anybody that sure. wants to get the story out there. Definitely. You, oh, you know? yeah, sure. And if they have you to guide them through that, been mm -hmm. there, done that, right? And maybe they have a substance abuse issue. What a, what a match. Yeah. That is fantastic. Charlie, how can they reach you? You can reach me yeah. at lifelongexperience.net. And I have all my books there, um, information about consulting, um, everything. My uh, contact information, my story, my videos, everything. Now, there's another there. thing, videos. Where, how do they get your videos online? You, on um, YouTube, it's Lifelong Experience. Okay. Yeah. That and is, there's also a link to my videos on my website. On your website. Yeah, I, I try to make everything as easy as possible. Now, what you said about AWARE, is that your website? Or do you have your own website? No, no. AWARE is not no. AWARE is not my website, but um, if people need their services, yeah. I think it's AWARE Recovery Care. And if they want your consulting and helping with their book, what's that? how would they reach you? Lifelong experience. The lifelong. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Charlie, I believe you have your books, quite a few of them, downstairs in the Upton Library in the dedicated local. It's fantastic, you know. I would just strongly suggest you go down there. If you have a friend, if it's yourself, family member, Charlie has written some awesome books. I have a pile in my whole library of them. <laughs> I mean, really, they are, and they're colorful, too. I mean, they, you know, the. The uh, covers of them and that type of thing. Yeah. Do you think you're going to write a book on how to how to publish? I haven't thought about it, but that might be book number ten. You, have, <laughs> you've got it all. I mean, all you have to do is. That would be awesome. Yeah. That Although would. Lisa Shea mm -hmm. has already written a book like that. She's already what? Written a book. She has. Yeah. Yeah, but she's her. You're you. This is true. <laughs> Definitely. You don't compare yourself with any other author. You also come from a different place than she does. Mm. You also have a background in recovery. Right, Strong. Right. And it comes across, and uh, you have a wonderful way of wording your books. I mean, no two authors are ever the same. And mm. that's what makes our world go around, right? True. Yep. yep. So you don't, you're not speaking yet. You haven't, you're, not, you're not scheduling yet. No, because of COVID. Well, forget it now, because yeah. of the whole opening. <laughs> no, I know, I know. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I think, yeah. I don't know if, I think, remember Tatnock over in Westboro? Yep, yep. They closed for a while on this type of thing, but for the last year, year and a half, the authors have been coming, one, two, three. You know, they're still opening, and they, there's so many things now, oh, uh, my God, from the book cafes and, this, well, of course, libraries, senior centers. Especially your knowledge now about how to publish a book in your own way, yeah. the way you see it, which is big, totally different than someone else. And this you're is true. pretty, you want to do it more in person because you've got that, you've got the gift of gab, and plus your background. Right. Anybody in your family know about your experiences? A, a few. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a few people. Are they supportive? Those that know, yes. 
Very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. You have brothers and sisters? I have one biological sister, but then because I was yeah. orphaned at a young age and brought in by my aunt and uncle, yeah. her two kids I consider my brother and my sister. Yeah. Charlie, you know, a lot of kids in high school, younger, a lot of high school and college kids, they, 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 they've got the idea in their head to do a book. Mm. But that's as far as they can get. What would you say? Well, how would you advise them to get it, do it and get it out there? To do it and get it out there, just start writing. Just start start it. putting it down on, once you get it on paper or mm -hmm. on Word doc or whatever, then just don't worry about the time that you spend. Mm. Just spend like a half hour a day. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you know, I, I seen a video about that. Um, and I, I, I practice that too. Yeah. Spending an hour a day just writing. Yeah. And if you can't think of anything to write that day, yeah. don't worry about That's it. That's it, write it. Don't stress friend. out <laughs> about it. Just, yeah. you, you know, just. Definitely. I don't know about you, but when I'm. I've got a story in my head. I've had it there for a while. To me, I have to, even when I read, I have to see it as a movie. I can't just, like, I call it dry read something. I've got to be able to see it coming out in my mind. Yeah, yeah. Is that unusual? Do you hear that very often? That we have to see it actually happening as we're writing? No, no, I, 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 I've heard that before. Yeah. yeah. We've got about two minutes left. Charlie, any <laughs> parting words? You'll be back. What are you providing words to people now that you're going to be helping people publish? I will be back. And um, I would say just, you know, if, if you do need help publishing a book, lifelongexperience.net, I can be reached on there. Mm -hmm. And as far as everything going on in the world, just don't give up hope. You, you know, mm -hmm. keep, keep going strong. Everything's going to work itself out. I, I, don't, I don't believe that we're in Armageddon or anything like that. No, I'm not <laughs> here. No, I'm not I've, I've heard that many times, but I don't think we're, we're think at that stage. I think I'd have an earth breakdown if that's how I lived. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, can't yeah, live yeah. like that. What do they say? One day at a time. An hour exactly. at a time. Exactly. Yeah, a minute at a time if you must. There's another one I love. Uh, how important is it? In other words, right now with your life, you know, if you stop doing something right now, well, let's just say everything turns out just fanny, and we hope it does, you're going to kick yourself in the, you know, where for not having just done, started doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He's an inspiration. Thank you, Charlie, for being with us very much. You're Good luck on the, teaching people how to publish your book. Thank you, thank we'll, you. We'll see you next time. Be my yep, guest. definitely. shooting star Heading out toward a dream Tomorrow's even closer Than it seems 